Today we are going to solve the 2021 paper of IIT JAM Mathematical Statistics and today is the fifth part we are solving from 34. They have given a consider <coughs> they have given an equation to consider for us f of x y is 3 x square plus 4 x y plus y square is equal to x of y where x square plus y square equal to 1 which of the following statement is true. So maxima minima maxima minima of these two. Okay, so f of x, y, s is this. So now consider x equal to cos theta and y equal to sin theta. Uh, so f of theta from this part is 3 cos square, 4 sin cos plus sin square theta. So max minus minima put let's that f dash f, f dash 0. So 3 minus 2 cos theta sin theta plus 2 cos 2 theta plus 2 sin theta and cos theta. So minus 3 sin 2 theta plus 4 cos 2 theta plus sin 2 theta. So this is minus 2 sin 2 theta 4 cos 2 theta. So this is minus 2 sin 2 theta plus 4 cos 2 theta. So this will be equal to 0. So 2 sin 2 theta equal to 4 cos 2 theta. So this will be giving us tan 2 theta equal to 2. So sin 2 theta is 2 by root 5 and cos 2 theta is 1 by root 5. So if double dash uh, if we do so minus 4 cos 2 theta minus 8 sin 2 theta. This has been done. So f double dash theta is less than 0. So the function have the maximum values and the maximum value if you just put it. So we just put it over there 3 cos square theta plus 2 sin 2 theta plus sin square theta. So in that way, if you just put 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2, 2 sin 2 theta and sin square 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So replacing 3 by 2, 1 plus 1 by root 5, 2, 2 by root 5, half, 1 minus 1 by root 5. So this will give us 2 by root 5. So similarly, if we consider x equal to sin and y equal to cos, then we get the minimum by x sin and y cos hence that will give us 2 minus root 5 hence the answer to this question is this and this c and d both are correct next 35 let f of r are twice differentiable function then which of the following statement is necessarily true so in this case twice differentiable function let gx equal to f dash x be the function so here clearly gx is continuous from 0 to 1 and differentiable in 0 to 1 continuous and differentiable so given that the rose theorem there c may be a value between 0 to 1 for which g x x equal to 0 so f double dash x equal to 0 so obviously option b is true in this case again f of r is twice differentiable function then f dash x is bounded for all r because so f double dash x is bounded for all r if it is continuous and differential so function is bounded in 8 to 10 as well so option c is also true but it's not necessarily f dash is continuous as well as bounded so obviously b and c are the only possible answers next let x on x to dot 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 xn be identically and independently distributed random variables with the probability density function given then which of the following random variable has or have finite expectation Uh, so e of x1 start e of 1 by x2 is 1 by x so e1 to infinity 1 by x square 1 by x dx 
so x to the power minus 3 plus 1 minus 3 plus 1 1 to infinity so this is giving you 0 plus half so that is half then uh, in the second part e of root over x1 so this is giving you into infinity root x by x square into dx this is the function that's why with this x square and uh, in 1 to infinity 1 by x to the power 3 by 2 dx so this is a finite case so integration of 1 by x square so if i just put it f1 of x x1 fx n minus 1 f of x so 1 to x 1 by x square dx 1 minus 1 by x so from this fx equal to n 1 by x n minus 1 into 1 by x square so that is n by x to the power n plus 1 so e of xn is 1 to infinity x to the power n by x to the power n plus 1 dx so this is n 1 to infinity dx by x to the power n n plus 1 1 to infinity so this is e of xn will give you n by n plus 1 so e of x 1 equal to e x these two are same so log x 1 to infinity so log infinity minus log 1 hence log infinity so it's a finite structure so keeping all these things in mind the answers are a C and T.